Hello, and thank you once again for joining me, the Thrifty Collector. I want to do a special um, post today about the passing of Lou Brock. Lou was one of my favorite players as a kid. I was pretty young by the time he retired. He retired in 1979. I thought it was always kind of interesting how he was the all-time base stealer when he retired. He retired with uh, 938 stolen bases, um, 1,600, a little over 1,600 runs, 900 RBIs, which is actually outstanding for a guy that was a leadoff hit hitter. Uh, but one of the amazing things also is that he accumulated over 3,000 hits. And uh, Lou was originally brought in by the Chicago Cubs. And being the Cubs, they traded him to the St. Louis Cardinals, where he went on to have a Hall of Fame career. It always reminded me of Ozzie Smith as I was older and able to enjoy more of the guys that were playing at the time when the um, St. Louis Cardinals stole Ozzie Smith from the San Diego Padres. Now, the first autograph card I have is the 2000 Upper Deck legendary signatures uh great card got a great image of lou looks like he's making it to first base in time just a beautiful signature this was in 2000 and the one i'm going to show you is 20 years later and you can kind of tell a little bit of a difference the card that i'm getting ready to put up uh, i have just gotten back about three months ago it took me about an extra month to get it because lou was concerned about his health during the whole covid thing so I was kind of worried about this card actually making it back to me um, in time or the signing getting canceled altogether before Lou got a chance to sign it. So I was pretty happy when I did get it in and very sad that almost to the day, three months later, that he had passed away. The card that I have that I had just gotten in was the 1962 Topps Lou Brock rookie signed. I originally got this out of an SGC. I believe it was a three or a four. Uh, it's, it's a very good card. The problem was, is, of course, as you can tell, is the cut. It's uh, highly off-centered, but that's neither here or there. Uh, once again, the reason why I would rather have a three or four and crack it open than a card that looks nice or raw is because of all the forgeries and counterfeits that are out there that just look so good. Uh, people are actually... Um, depressing the newer reprint cards to make them look like they're older. Um, so you have to be careful of that. Now, Lou had a great signature, as you can tell, even up until three months before his death. Uh, this card is, like I said, the 1962. He only played about two, three seasons with the Cubs before they traded him. Uh, almost the same thing with Ozzie Smith. He played about four seasons with, in San Diego before they traded him. Going back to Ozzie Smith. But the nice thing about this card is, and this is the only card that I've ever done this with, is I actually opted to get the JSA sticker. Uh, what happens with JSA stickers, when I send my cards off to a signing to get them signed, they will have a JSA representative there that will view and um, put on there that they have seen it being signed. They will authenticate the signature and they will put their sticker on. Each sticker is individually numbered uh, by uh, JSA. So it's kind of a nice thing to have, especially in this card because of uh, the fact that uh, I like this card so much. This was one of my bucket list cards was getting a Lou Brock because I was such a fan um, back as a child. So once again, let me show you the, the autograph. And, and still, if you figure three months, this is only three months before he passed away. So nice clean signature. The, the older veteran guys, they really take pride in the way that they sign cards. They don't um, chicken scratch it or just put an X like a lot of today's players do. So I hope you enjoy that, uh, me showing you my two Lou Brock cards. And uh, I will probably eventually send this off to PSA or Beckett and get it slabbed. I do like my, my better card slabbed. So it probably will have both the JSA sticker and the slab on it. Kind of a waste of money to get it double authenticated. But when it's one of your favorite cards, you want to get that done. So once again, thank you for letting me share. Oh, and one last thing, too, I wanted to say um, about four days ago before his passing, this car signed in a Beckett or PSA. They were going for about 
$350. And just to show you that the way that the market changes once a player passes, the first card most people look for, if it's, a, if it's an older player, they always look for a signed rookie card. So it went from about 450 and I saw one go as high as 750 today or yesterday. So that's about a $300 increase uh, with lose passing, sadly. So once again, thank you for tuning in. Stay thrifty.